Hey everyone, it's Cassie, and today we're going to be creating an alcohol ink background using the Copic Various Inks and the Copic Airbrush. Let's take a look. First thing we're going to do is I'm protecting my surface by putting a piece of glass down. This is just a piece of glass from an old picture frame. And we're going to be working on Yupo paper. Yupo paper is a plastic type paper, so it works really well with alcohol inks. I'm starting by prepping my surface by dripping on some 99% isopropyl alcohol. This is similar to adding water to a paper before watercoloring. It allows the inks when you put them on to blend and move around a lot easier. So I'm not covering the entire paper, I'm just getting a fair amount on there. Then I'm going to just move it around and make sure that my surface is well covered. I'm using the Copic airbrush to move my alcohol inks around today. You can use canned air, but since I have the airbrush, it's just as easy for me to use that. I'm then going to drip on a few drops of various colors of various ink. You can use other alcohol inks as well, but I love the Copic colors and the variety that they have. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I started out by just using three different colors that will blend well together. And I'm just moving them around with that air. You can continue working them for as long as they stay wet. The more you work them, the more they will mix together. So be careful you don't over mix it and get a muddy mess in the middle. But you can keep them moving and you can get some really cool effects. A lot of it is just practice and just seeing what different angles and different, um, different motions and whatever will create when you're working with the inks. At this point my background is pretty much dry, but I'm not liking how white that bottom corner is. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit more alcohol and add a little bit more moisture there and see if I can get the inks to move around enough to fill in that space or not. And I pretty quickly decide that it's not going to move enough, so I'm going to go in and add another color into that space. So I'm going to add a little bit of green in there. And then I'll move that around with the airbrush. I'm just going to keep working that area until I'm happy with it. It actually started drying a little bit too fast for me, so I added just a drop or two right along that seam between the green and the yellow to help soften it down a little bit. going to keep doing that until I'm happy with it. And here's how it turned out. I'm actually going to be using part of this background for a different technique and you'll be able to see the video for that technique. There'll be a link in the description below. And I was able to use the remainder of that piece to create this card right here. I hope you enjoyed watching my process. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. You can check out my blog and the links in the description below as well as the links to other places you can find me on social media. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.